The Hebridean Wind Vane Kit 1 comes with all of the timber, fixings and metalwork, all pre-drilled and pre-cut. This is the contents of the kit. As you can see, all of the parts are individually packed and sealed. All the fixings are from left to right in almost the order you will use them. Everything again in sealed individual packets. And there is a packet of lead shot for the counterweights. Down below carbon fibre push rod, vein tubes, dowels 6 and 8 millimetre stainless studding. At the back we have all of the pre-cut timber, all planed oak ready to trim and fit together. The first job would be to identify each piece of wood and label it. Most of the cutting is done with a circular saw. The kit comes with detailed instructions and plans, which are pretty self-explanatory, but it is worth the time to read several times before starting. First stage of build is to create a template using a piece of plywood or hardboard. Uh, you draw a, a frame in one-to-one -one onto the ply which gives you all the critical dimensions and you use it for, as a marking template when you come to trim the wood. Yeah, foot and one of the reinforcing pieces placed on the board ready for marking. In fact I've already marked this as you can probably see. Just line up and make sure everything fits. Here we see the structure of the main frame, a rectangular main plank reinforced either side with heavy strips. And down at the bottom here we have, that's where the foot will go, that will be through bolted. And you can see all the lines all, all line up and that's how you trim them. Not a problem. Okay, I've um, trimmed the main parts of the frame and shape them as you can see the five pieces that make up the main frame are in, in the middle of the shop there um, they, it, the whole thing has been dry assembled so all the screws that will hold it all together um, with the glue have all been pre-fitted and they all fit properly at the top there is the extension uh, which will actually take the turret for the wind vane itself so I started cutting the slot for the extension to fit into, uh, which will, once that's all bolted on like so, that will hold the extension in place. But the next job is to glue all of this together and screw it and just leave it to set. Okay, the framework is now glued together. <laughs> Uh, I've cut the joint for the extension and the foot is now glue, uh, glued and bolted through. The extension has got this rebate cut in it and fits like so. And then that's through bolted. This is uh, pretty tight once you actually get it in place. It needs to be tight for strength. Uh, in the meantime, it don't really need it attached. And I've also cut the groove in the top of the extension where the turret fits, like so. 
that's through bolted and that will be glued on with thickened epoxy etc. The okay, next thing to do is to cut the pivot which will fit somewhere about here uh, about that angle and the whole mechanism will actually pivot on this uh, bar so we need to cut a slot here through bolted uh, just getting the angle right and then the main part of the frame is completed just bolt this together glue it give it a good sand all over um, and then a good coat of epoxy and then several coats of varnish the framework is now all glued and screwed together pivot is done bolted through the um, extensions bolted through and I've let in a key here for this part which is part of the uh, hinge for the outriggers so it just fits in there uh, about to glue put some epoxy down the holes and underneath here so that it's a nice waterproof finish okay the uh, <coughs> glue is in place now I'm just going to squidge a bit more down the holes because I like to have glue down the screw holes because they don't they don't leak then uh, nice good dollop everywhere and drop that in place like so nice and tight and then with a manual screwdriver like so it's been, this has been dry assembled so the screws go in reasonably easily <coughs> So, and like so. And nice and tight. And nice and tight again. And then just wipe. In fact, what I'm doing is just running where it's overfilled slightly. You're just squidging it in whatever gaps there are. Then I'm going to leave that until tomorrow. The outrigger is fitted just here and is basically the hinge mechanism is formed by a bolt that runs down there. The outrigger has got a, a fair lead which is used for the control line uh, actually comes through there and hooks on I've put um, eye hooks here and on the other one uh, for the bungee which actually holds the uh, outrigger in its proper position now to fit it literally is bolt through nut to hold it and there's a small block of wood just here which is designed to protect the push rod the push rod actually runs down in this gap here that's nice and simple good solid heavy duty as you can see this has been partially prepared now with coating Put that back down through there and you can also see the pivot pin which is this and that is where the whole thing rotates on 